So for the full moon ceremony, this is going to be part one, and this is setting up a space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to light the candles. So I lit the amethyst candle for comfort and clarity. And some Himalayan rock salt candles. And you can use really any kind of candles you want. This, I like using candles because well, it's light. And it just helps you to get feel closer to the energy, to the universe, to spirit. And then I also have some sage that I'm gonna, going to burn when we start the second part um, to our ritual. And I have this pan here. Is This will be for the second part of our ritual too. That we're going to put, we're going to go outside and we're going to put what we wrote, that what we want to release and let go of in our life that is holding us back and we're going to burn it in this pot under the full moon and we also have some sage tea that we are drinking it's kind of a day you know if you can try to make it a day of the cleansing the cleanse letting go surrendering just giving everything mm -hmm. yep. to the universe giving everything to the moon tonight and even an Epsom salt bath will be perfect as well. Part two, we are getting ready to write down everything that we want to let go. And I have my handy dandy notebook, the healing rainbow. So let's write what we want to let go and release in our life that is holding us back. And it could be past traumas for instance, um, any grief, loss, any sadness, sorrow. The full moon for September 9th, 2022 is the harvest moon. So I have a couple quotes here that I found and it was unknown of who had wrote them. The first one says, and like the moon, we must go through phases of emptiness to feel full again. The moon is a reminder that no matter what phase I am in, I am still whole. Oh, rip your pieces up. Mm -hmm. Rip it how you want to rip it. I'm just, I don't know, I'm making it all pretty like. Just rip the shit out of it. <laughs> ripping shit. I like ripping shit. Just though, you can think about and how we're breaking it up, that we're releasing and we're just, we're, it's like taking out of the garbage in your home when you're cleaning up. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the same thing. We're gonna burn some sage. Okay, just our space a little bit here. And we'll just bring it outside with us as well. So we are actually by the water right now. Um, this was kind of a last minute thing. If you can go by water, perfect. You have the moon just right over the water. I just want to ask our guides and our angels, our team and spirit, who's ever with us that's of love and light to be here with us now as we set our intention. We also ask the moon, the spirit of the moon, the energy of the moon to help us to release, to cleanse, and to clear all our blockages, all those closed doors, our pain, our trauma, our suffering, anything that no longer serves us anything that's in your way of moving forward in life. And some call the moon Archangel Aniel. You can even use that as well if, if that's um, something that you, you, you believe. Or you can just say 
you know, just the energy of the moon. Is the moon does uh, represent her mother Earth, her mother God, the the feminine energy. So it's a goddess mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. And just as I'm lighting it, I just want you to feel it all releasing from all your bodies, your mental, your emotional. I mean, in your physical, because we hold in our physical bodies as well. Just feel it release. And sometimes it takes a little bit to burn everything, and that's okay. Just burn what you can, because we're going to be releasing it to the earth after. We're going to be putting it in the dirt. Just feel everything burn away. And I want you to say to yourself, as your eyes are closed, now it is released. I have released everything I need to. Our mother, our goddess, has taken it from us and transmute and transform everything that we need. I'm just gonna put it to the earth. And then if you can, bury it 